Welcome back for another 60% uh, Brumbar build update. I've uh, been working on the drive sprockets. Um, finally got the uh, sides rolled up. Um, well, sort of rolled up. Wasn't very happy at all. Originally, I was going to do it myself. I was going to make my own press brake, uh, you know, to fit into my 20 ton shot press. However, I thought, you know what, it's such a, it's very important part of the drive sprocket, you know, I'll go ahead and shell out a few extra bucks and have a machine shop roll it up for me. Um, and that didn't go so well. Um, matter of fact, I would have been happier if I just did it myself. Um, they did not produce a good quality uh, return on my investment. So I had a whole lot of stuff I had to do because they weren't exactly round. They weren't exactly the exact same size, so I had a whole lot of stuff I had to do to try and get the cones, these cone sections, centered inside the sprocket. Um, I had, you know, I had to put jigs together anyways to get everything aligned, but I fought the cones. I'm still fighting the cones to make sure everything's aligned and whatnot. But these are the two drive sprockets. Obviously, the the teeth, the actual the sprocket portion of the drive sprocket's not attached yet. That'll get bolted on at these locations on either side. The sprocket is actually a number of sections. You can see this is this is this one. It's all just tack welded together. Uh, uh, again, I wasn't exactly sure how well it'd go together, so these are all just real, real light tacks. But you have the outer rims, a central cone, and then the arms. Uh, the arms aren't nice and symmetrical uh, there's six arms 60 degrees each arm but the cone itself isn't isn't nice and round it isn't a nice symmetrical round shape so these didn't get weren't able to be put on in a nice symmetrical path or a nice symmetrical pattern uh, the inside looks like this and you can see there's an inner ring here that is welded inside this cone and this is the central attach point um, so the outer face plate is here then the actual drive axle itself will look something like this and all it will be is two, uh, two of the discs that have matching holes already in them that will get welded onto a piece of round bar and then in between the round bar will be additional supports to stiffen this up and the whole thing just bolts will bolt in there and then of course you know, it'll attach to, uh, there'll be pillow block bearings. This will be a little bit longer and there'll be pillow block bearings here. And that's actually how the actual sprocket will attach to the actual drive axle. It'll be something that looks very similar to this. These are the actual plates, uh, but the actual uh, round bar will be a little bit longer. And then there'll be vertical pieces that go around to help give this even more strength. put all this together I made up some jigs and you can see um, holes are pre-drilled in it uh, for standoffs that go in between these plates the bad thing about staying so true to the German design um, the Germans had a very odd bolt pattern on these sprockets um, and they it is not symmetrical um, most of them are consistent but again you have a pattern of most of them are groups of two except for this one which is just three um, so the distance from here to here is different than the distance from here to here uh, these distances are the same but again these two distances are different than these two distances so it was not symmetrical um, to lay out the jig but all I did is I took the jigs these plates one on top one on bottom and standoffs went in between these two rings held in place with all the nuts and bolts and then there's a center portion to center all this stuff up because th these plates were all bolted together like this and then you know, everything's bolted, these rings and everything's bolted together, so it forms a nice, uh, solid uh, uh, group that's all lined up. And then I went in 
and tacked the cone in. Um, and then from there, after the cone was tacked in, I started tacking in the arms. Then once that was all said and done, pull it apart and voila. The uh, cones themselves are all tacked in. I've got to go back through. I'm going to put the spacers back in um, when I weld everything in hard. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking about making some extra spacers so that there's no warpage in these rings um, once everything starts getting welded in. As I, the, the heat, even though this is large and lots of different areas, surface areas and whatnot, I could hear several of the spot welds you know, popping um, as different areas were getting heated up and whatnot. So I'm probably actually going to put the whole jig back together uh, with additional standoffs um, just to make sure everything is lined up uh, so when this thing starts heating up, when it's getting welded, welded, that uh, there's as little warpage as possible. Um, that's what it looks like from the front without the, uh, the base plate. But all in all, it's not exactly the way I wanted it to look. Um, the size of the cones, that is. Um, and I'm not terribly happy because the cone isn't perfectly round. And you know, it's got the, from the where it's put into a press brake, it's got the lines. Um, so there's some uneven areas for these arms to rest against. So therefore they don't have a nice, pretty symmetrical layout. Um, not terribly happy about that, but other than that, everything's together correctly, everything's aligned, all the stuff is done correct. Uh, and it'll make a good sprocket. I just wish the uh, issues with the cone had not been there. Uh, that's it for this update. Um, the next update uh, probably be about another week or so. Uh, and the big thing we're doing there is the wheels, the road wheels. Everything's cut out for the road wheels. All the rims have been cut out and rolled. Uh, those just have to be welded together. Um, and then I'm going to do up a couple of the, uh, I'll do one or two of the, uh, well, it's like a hubcap. Uh, the, a face plate that goes over the front of the road wheel so you can see what that looks like and you have a good idea what everything what you know a group of road wheels looks like assembled but that's uh, that's the next project is to finish the road wheels um, you know as far as getting them the rims welded on and getting them onto the uh, uh, their own axles or the the hubs uh, and get that ready for the bearings to be pressed in uh, but other than that we're done for this week Thanks for watching.